Doodle bud, what is this thing? Some people see it and think, is it lipstick? Is it a bullet? Does it take batteries? No, it takes ink. Let's check out this little pen. So what we're looking at is this cool little pen from Enso. I ordered a pen from them, a different one I'm gonna review, and they added in some extra stuff for me. Now, when I first saw this, I thought, oh, that's kind of cute. But this has quickly become like my favorite go-to pen, and it literally has not left my pocket. I recently bought this Kaveco Sport. I really like the looks at it and a lot of features about the pen, but for me, even when posted, um, you know, it actually goes to a decent length, but it is just a little small on the girth, on the, the size, a little crammed for my hand. Now, I know a lot of people love them, and if you love it, that's awesome. But this little dude here, uh, it's got some more size to it, a little more substance. I like the weight of it. And uh, so let's get into this little pen here. Overall, this the measurements on this is it's 92 millimeters when it's capped like this. Pop it open, there's that nib. Full size number six nib, it's a Bach nib. You can get this in uh, aluminum like this is. This is anodized, a black anodized aluminum, titanium and brass. Uh, when you post it, you put it on the back there, fits on there really quick, it's three quarter of a turn. Uh, now it's 140 millimeters, so a very respectable size pen. Diameter of the overall body is about 15 millimeters. And then the grip section, which is what I like the most, about 12 millimeters. So it's got a little more bulk to it. You can see in my hand, this thing fits no problem. Overall weight, so this one, uh, the aluminum is about 24 grams. Titanium option is like, I think, 38 on the website and 67 for the brass. So pretty heavy for the brass. It uh, reminds me of one of my other favorite pens on my top three, the Faber-Castell Emotion in Stealth Black. Really, you know, enjoy this pen. A little bit shorter and stubby, but, you know, you can post it to get a good length, but even shorter, it's okay. But I don't mind so much because it's a little bit chonky there in the grip section. So this is very much the same way, very well built as well. So kind of remind me of that. That's why I think maybe that's why I like it. But um, yeah, like I've never been into pocket pens, but this thing, I just really like. It's really nicely built. Um, the threads are good and it just... You do this all the time. You oh, It's like almost like a fidget spinner, but you can open it up and you just spin it close. Of course, you can't see it because nothing focuses anymore. You just open, boom, snaps it shut. I just do this like all day one-handed. I'll just sit there and just be turning it and doing this all the time. It's a lot, lots of fun to use. It's got a um, very similar feature on the threads as the Emotion. It's They cut it with a, a square thread. I was looking to see if it was an Acme or a square thread. It's just a straight up square thread. Um, same thing, they did the absolute engineering minimum, the three threads engaged. So a cool little feature there as well. Um, you know, there's not much on this end of it as far as it, as it goes, as far as size, like it's pretty stout. Takes cartridges um, and there you're gonna mostly use this as a cartridge pen. Now it does fit the little, uh, where is it here? The little Kaveco mini converter, it fits in there, but then, you know, if you got a full uh, fill in there, by the time you screw the back on here, it will, uh, sorry, the back of the pen here, because this, this part is so short, it'll push this down, and that's about how much ink you'll have left in there. But there is the uh, little mini aerometric style converters, that fit on here. So it's about the size of a cartridge and it's a squeezy squeezy style. I don't have one, um, but now I want to pick one up because I've been using cartridges and it's been okay. They actually last a fair length of time. It's a fine nib, so you're not, it's not a gusher. So I've been using this thing daily for a week and I still got lots left in the cartridge. And if, if there wasn't a converter available, I'd be filling cartridges, but it is neat that you can get those little Aerometric squeezy style ones, so I, I'm gonna be picking one of those up because this, yeah, li is literally in my pocket every day. And I think maybe I'm just a little extra fond of it because um, the fountain pens I got for my daughter for her fifth birthday, her favorite thing to do at bedtime. Now we do her stories, of course, but she loves to write with her pens, do some drawings, and I just I keep this in my pocket, pull it out, and we'll do some drawing together. And it's just a perfect little size, but again pop it open, good length, and this thing is just super comfortable to use. So I'll, uh, you know, there's not much to walk you through as far as features. What you see is what you get. 
Um, again, you know, everyone loves to just pop a cap on and post it. This goes on quick, very satisfying threads, you know, just mm, engages really nicely. So, uh, and it's like I said, three quarter of a turn here. Let's just measure that. Yeah, three quarters of a turn. So it's real quick, threads on nicely. So it, it actually doesn't bother me at all. Um, yeah. I was, this has been a super surprise for me. I didn't think I would like this, a little tiny pocket pen like this, because it is so small. Let's do a size comparison here. Here's the uh, Kaveco Sport. You know, it dwarfs, <laughs> this guy is so tiny compared to that. But again, when you post it, obviously the Kaveco gets to be a reasonable size. I just don't like how, how small the grip section is. But uh, yeah, when you post this one, you, you do get a full size number six nib, a little more length out of it, but the biggest thing, the grip section. So I'm just gonna line up a couple other pens so you can get an idea for the size, do a writing sample and we'll wrap it up. Checking out some other pens here, we got the Enso Puma in the middle. Of course, the Caveca, we got a little more length and girth uh, with the Enso on that one, but say uh, Pelican M805 there. You know, we got more than ample size, a little bit longer. The Narwhal, which I write with unposted, still a little bit longer. There's a Twisby Eco, the little Fabric Castell, and a Lamy 2000. So we go from a super mini tiny pen to something that is very sizable, uh, very comfortable to use, really well balanced. Uh, they, did, you know, they just did a great job on this. All right, let's get this thing going here. So uh, let's do a quick writing sample. With the uh, pen right now, it only comes with a uh, fine. So it's a number six Bach nib. This one's the blackout version to go kind of with the looks of the pen. You can, uh, it does screw in and out. Um, so you can just do that, screw it in and out, get a new Bach unit in there if you have one, or the whole nib and feed does slide out of the collar and you can put in a different nib if you want. It only comes in fine. I mean, for a pocket pen, it's something you just want to pop out, write your stuff down, put it back in your pocket. Although I have been using this uh, for note taking on like conference calls and stuff where, uh, you know, it's a half hour, 45 minute call and I'm taking several pages as notes, uh, doing paperwork for clients. And this thing has done phenomenal. So you can actually do a lot more than just do quick uh, notes and jotting stuff down with it. So anyways, let's go through this. This is the Enso. And this is the P P Yuma. Their little pocket pen. And this is a fine Bach nib. As far as ink, I'm just using whatever cartridge it came with. So it looks like it's a standard kind of black ink, nothing special. Wetness is, I mean, it's where it should be. Now, when I first got the pen, I will tell you, it was running a bit dry for my liking. Um, I think just in general, even for someone else too, would probably find it a little bit dry. But, I, you know, I just popped the nib off, took two seconds, just had to open the tines just a little bit, just, you know, for like a five count, hold it a couple of times. Uh, one, max two minutes, it was back in and writing just a, a little bit more where I wanted it. So, I mean, that happens. Uh, it doesn't really matter where you... <laughs> what price point, what pen, you are going to have nibs that the tines are out just a touch or the gap needs to be closed or open just a touch. And uh, I've done lots of videos on that. And honestly, for a lot of times, one minute and it's it's right where you want it to be. So um, we'll just, we'll, we'll do uh, a lame joke for the writing sample today. I'll do some printing. I find this is a good printing pen. Uh, what's brown and sounds like a bell. And I'm sort of writing how you would with a pocket pen like this, just sort of ch -ch -ch kind of quick notes. And of course the answer to that is dung. Anyways, there we go. For all the electrical nerds out there, you know what I just drew. Um, pocket pen. The Puma by Enso. I gotta say, this is, uh, for me, this is like the surprise pen of the year. That's a bold claim, but it's a bold little pen. So big thank you to Enso to sending me their Puma pocket fountain pen to review and share with everybody watching. I have really enjoyed this pen. Uh, you know, as far as what do I like, what don't I like, I really love everything about this pen as far as what I don't like. 
nothing. I, I really enjoy it. If you go on the website right now, enso.com, uh, I just took a quick look as far as October 19th, 2021. It was only listing a fine nib for the pen. They do say it goes from extra fine to broad, so maybe that's just a bit of an availability issue for nibs. So just keep an eye out for that. But other than that, really enjoying this. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Likes and comments. I love engaging with you in the comments. And we will catch you next time.